Um, welcome to Ilsfields and Biviake. Um, just like to thank you for clicking on the video and if you'd like to you can subscribe and click the like if you like the video. Um, just a bit of an introduction before we go to the wild camp. Um, I, would, I were just going to do a wild camp but I wanted to incorporate something I wanted to do for a while and that was to review some sleeping bags and the sleeping bag systems for winter. Now buying a four season bag costs quite a bit of money and I wanted to do a comparison whether uh, an alternative to buying a new bag would be to buy um, a thermal liner for your two three season bag. So yeah just a, a brief recap on the sleeping bags I'll be taking with me. This is the Winter uh, Leviathan 900EV from OEX um, minus 9 comfort rating and I've got a mounting top sorry the, the price for that were £105 from Millis I think with a discount code the 2-3 uh, season bag what I use for most of my camps is the mounting top it's just called the mounting top um, it was off Amazon a couple of years ago, about £45. That's got a comfort rating of 5 Celsius. Um, the sleeping bag liner I'll be using with the 2-3 season bag is the OEX Furnace 8 Plus. It's a Thermalite liner. Um, yeah, so I just want to compare these two, whether they perform as good as uh, an expensive down winter bag. So again, we'll go to the video. Is that alright? <laughs> Where did it all fall down? Taking tablets daily. Because this is your home. Let's look on the other. This is your home. Let's look on the upside down. Hi, welcome back to Ilse Thrills and Biviake. Um, doing a local wild camp, only about about four kilometres from my house. Um, tonight I'm going to be reviewing, well not reviewing, um, it's a bit of an experiment really. I'm just measuring the temperatures inside sleeping bags now, it's just a compare whether it's worth having a, a winter sleeping bag or having a, a two three season sleeping bag and having a sleeping bag liner um, I'll be using these thermometers they've got a min and max on them hopefully um, if I just don't fall asleep all night I, I will be swapping the sleeping bags out and I'll be checking the internal temperature in the sleeping bag but taking the temperature outside the tent and the temperature inside the tent just see what uh, variation there is between you know using a, a thermal liner with a, a standard two three season bag or a specific winter bag see see what difference is really just to kill some time and I'll also be having this birthday beer as it's my birthday tomorrow so looking forward to that I also want to I don't know if many people use these i um, been using them a, a few months now I just wanted to review them we're going to review them on the last video but I forgot my cup and guess what I forgot my spoon today and the little um, the little perforated bags put coffee in and they hang over your cup I, I will do a video in a, in, in a minute just to show you how they attach over the cup it opens out and it just hangs on the side you put your coffee in pour, pour your hot water through and a lovely percolated coffee lightweight fairly cheap 
Um, if I still got the link on my Amazon account, I'll, I will share it on this video. Uh, they are, they're not biodegradable, but they are recyclable. So, take them on and put them in the recycling bin. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to get set up now. I we're going to have some carbonara. And I just realised I've not only forgot my spoon, I forgot my tea. Uh, <laughs> these things happen. It is what it is. I'm sure I said that before. Yeah, I'll just... I've just done more one of these um, coffee, coffee bags. They, um, yeah. My hands are work. It's currently 2.6 Celsius. Uh, my hands are a little bit cold. Ooh, we're at cold, I said, Going a bit stir crazy, I think. So it just pops over your cup like that. Just press the sides in so it goes square. And what's supposed to happen here is somebody's supposed to have brought a spoon to put some coffee in there, but obviously somebody hasn't brought a spoon. At least I've brought a cup this time. So this is where I just fill the cup with coffee now. Yeah, so, basically, you just put your coffee in there. Uh, I'm just under halfway up. For this size cup. A lovely cup of coffee. Uh, this this is uh, a mixture of um, chocolate coffee. You don't taste of any much of chocolate it's just got a slight taste to it it's not like an hot chocolate or a mocha chocolate mocha chocker chocker mocha pika mocha um yeah it's across it's a cross i'm not cross breeding coffee it's a mix sorry between um yeah a chocolate coffee bean i got off the amazon and taylor's lazy sunday although it's friday but who's counting Um, yeah, this is, um, I bought this a few weeks back, uh, this is the Jobsworth 2, £20 from Planet X, and can't fault it to tell you the truth, it'll probably blow up on camera now. Let's get a brew made. Well, I'm going to save it for my carbonara because I've not brought my carbonara. No spoon, no tea, no treats, no nothing. It's all going wrong. It's not the fastest of boilers, but does its job. Uh, I think we're this is where I scold myself. No, oh, it's not boiling yet. Close. This is interesting, isn't it? Watching water boiling. Ooh. Why not click? Somewhere down in the bottom corner, somewhere, or up there, I'm not in, even sure where it is. The like and subscribe buttons. Have a go. Click it. So the idea is now, without knocking it over or scolding myself, 
He's not out in the mate. To get off this grass. Ah, that is cold. It's 1.6 Celsius now. So you basically just pour your coffee, uh, water in it there. Get focus on it. Yeah. Just pour your coffee through and just let it filter through. Quite simple, but at least you're not carrying bulky bits of kit. Take a few of these with you and some ground coffee. Bish bash bosh. Coffee's done. I'm assuming you don't want to up here. You're not even going to turn, are you? Falling out of you fast. Yeah, so um, I'm not like you watch me drink coffee because I'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen people drink coffee before. It's quite simple. There's not much hard work in it. Well, just make sure you bring a cup. Anyway, um, I'll catch you later when I'm freezing in my sleeping bag. Signing off. Um, it's four o'clock and let's have a look at the outside temperature. Focus on that. 0.2, no, 0.3 Celsius. Not gonna focus, are you? No, 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 if you wouldn't focus. No. Yeah, it, it's got a lot colder quicker since the sun's gone down. Um, looks quite bright on here, but it's not, I can assure you. It is, um, yeah, it's getting dark anyway. Um, I wish I knew how to use this camera correctly. This is an amazing sunrise. I need a neutral density filter so I don't have to keep messing around with the settings. Is it going to get, get a picture of it? There we are. Lovely, lovely, lovely sunset. Back to hideous man. Yeah, so um, got the tent set up. I'll be using the um, Leviathan 900 from OEX first to test the temperature. I don't know how long I'm going to be in them for. Um, I consulted with my Sage um, advisor, um, aka my daughter April, and she suggested using the um, winter one first. Um, I don't know, I'm not questioning any scientific advice from her, but why not? <laughs> oh wow, I can just see the moon. Alright, let's see if we can get this on camera. It's just creeping over the top of the hill. That's amazing. Just a quick update, temperature wise. Uh, temperature in the tent currently is 3.1 Celsius. It's been as low as 2.1. Don't know if that'll show up on there. Um, sorry for the mistake. Feathers everywhere. 
Um, current temperature in the sleeping bag is 25 Celsius. It's been up to 27. This is the um, Leviathan 900 OEX winter sleeping bag. Let's have a temperature outside is currently minus 1.1 yeah the te outside temperature is minus 1.1 I'm going to test at home um, getting a lot of condensation I know I should have brought the other tent anyway I did a test at home and tested the temperature in bed and I think that went to about 34 celsius so this is doing pretty well um, yeah it's really comfy yeah I suppose it was supposed to be 240 pound <laughs> I'd expect it to be I don't know why so many feathers are escaping though oh it's certainly covered in feathers Yeah, um, I've been in the bag <coughs> nearly two hours now, so I'm not sure when I'll switch over. I'm going to switch over to the two, three season bag. Um, I'll try that for a couple of hours without the liner and then try it with the liner and do a comparison of all the temperatures. So. I'm boring myself now. Bye. <coughs> right, so um three hours three and a half hours I think I've been in this bag. It's it topped out at twenty nine point one Celsius in the bag. And I think currently in the tent it's two point seven degrees. Not sure what it is outside, it were 1.1 1 .1, I mean, about 20 minutes ago. But um, I'm going to swap bags now and go to the toilet. Not that you wanted to know that, but I'm telling you anyway. Hi, um, I've swapped bags out now. I've got the mountain top um, down bag. I switched the Leviathan out now put that one away it's currently t minus 2.1 outside um, it's four degrees in here 4.4 degrees quite surprised it's that warm um, yeah the mountain top one is rated for um, comfort rating of 5 Celsius um, I think the Leviathan one is the comfort rating of minus nine, so I see what the difference is uh, with the temperatures. So, yep, catch you later. Just a quick update um, that's two hours, two and a half hours, I think, in this sleeping bag, and um, the temperature got down to well, got up to 23 celsius the previous bag were 29 point something or other uh, so i'm going to try it now with the um where is it? With the oex thermal liner let's see what difference it makes um okay so it's another two hours later Let's check the temperatures. This is the two three season bag with the OEX thermalite liner and we've got 29.5 the highest it's been it's currently 0 0.7 in the tent. Uh, I'm not going outside to see what it is, I'm probably about minus three and a half or something. Conclusion, I suppose, is... Um, yeah, <laughs> it 
seems to work the um, sleeping bag liner uh, quite sceptical uh, my legs felt a little bit colder than previously but it, it has got a little bit colder in the tent anyway so yeah it's worth giving it a try if you don't want to um, spend hundreds on another sleeping bag get a decent um, thermal liner what? yeah so sayonara anyway just a recap on the sleeping bag systems this is two days after the coming back from the wild camp OAX performed as expected, it's a winter bag, rated to minus 9 celsius, comfy, thick and yeah, just everything what you'd expect. The mountain top 2-3 season bag, um, on its own, I think it hit a temperature of 23 celsius, this hit 29.1, which is really comfy and really warm, 23 celsius. It's not that warm when it's minus two outside. Um, you can feel it, but it is bearable for the night if you, if you want to endure that. It's I've done it myself, and it's yeah, it's not the nicest of night sleep, but you will survive. The two threes and back, uh, two three threes and back with the liner um, increased the temperature to twenty nine point five internally in the bag, which is higher than the four season bag now although it increases the the temperature sorry I thought a bird was going to land on me then uh, although it increases the temperature it's um, it's not as comfortable the sleeping bags thinner and trying to get in the liner in the sleeping bag and get fastened up is yeah it must have took me about 15 minutes but yeah the temperature's there but it's just, it's just not as comfy just due to the, the loft on the winter bag is bigger um, it is a viable option these are about 25 pound these sleeping bag liners and it definitely did add 8 celsius to the temperature of the bag so if you're just going for um, weight i suppose because this was 500 grams this were 1300 grams and i think this is about 300 grams so as a weight alternative and weight saving this is a viable winter option and cost saving as well if you're going to go out and buy a winter bag then that's up to you if comfort's what you're after which i'm getting to that age now where i am after comfort but i'm just a bit too old and frail now to carry all the stuff so yeah so to recap if you want to save money buy a buy a winter sleeping bag liner um if you've got money buy a bag it's up to you really I honestly don't care. So goodbye. Get out of here guys. Sick of seeing you coming round my garden.